Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Walk Lab, your place for science and technology. And as we take a look around this amazing laboratory, you can see the observatory right there with its with its enormous dome and its beacon. Now we are passing through the living quarters of both Mr. Astley and the director of the lab. At the left side you can see the enormous launch tower as the walk lab has done several projects in space, both in Mars as on the moon. And then right here we have the outdoor UFO which is used for outdoor experiments in the beautiful world of Minecraft. And now we're returning back to the dome and the airship is docked at the port as you can see. And now we're getting in and soon you'll see the director. There he is standing on his position. Wow. Okay, I think that's, that's about it for uh, the intro. That will do just fine. I'm just gonna have to go to my computer and upload this. Right, Mr. Astley? What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the World of Gaming and welcome to the Wog Lab. We have another Minecraft mod spotlight ready for you. And this time I'll be going over the Camera Studio mod, which basically allows you to make very smooth movies and flybys of your structures and lots of other stuff, as you could see in the intro of the of this episode so let's see what you can do with this mod so um, I'm going I'm not going over all the pretty details of this mod I'm just going to show you um, the basic stuff what you can do and probably um, that will be enough for most of you Minecraft players. So first of all, let me show you again an example of what this mod can do. We're going to follow the track of... Um, sorry, we're going to follow the track of the, uh, of the walk lap again, this time only for 15 seconds. Right, and as you can see, it's going very fast now, but it is amazingly smooth. Much more smoother than if you would just fly by in creative mode and using your mouse as indicator. So this is actually a pretty, pretty cool mod. And as you can see, it even goes through blocks as it entered the room right there. So, how are you going to use this mod? Let's wait for that a little bit. Let's just start and uh, by looking to the options here. So let's start with the global options. You can toggle the uh, option screen here with the key O. Then we have the language, which is easy. Auto elastic time automatically starts the elastic time command when the traveling is started. Night and day line can be set before traveling. So this is this is basically you can manipulate the time while you are doing such a smooth recording. For example, I could uh, make that um, flyby around the walk lap, make a, a whole entire day. You would see the m the sun moving and the moon rising. So that is basically for a sort of a time lapses if you want to do that. And I show FPS counter is uh, pretty basic. Now, um, let's just see how this mod works. So I'm first going to clear the traject of the walk lab. So basically, it, this mod works with certain points. You basically have to define certain points where your camera has to pass by and it will automatically follow that route. Now the camera also looks at your orientation. So, for example, I'm going to do just a plain um, straight move through the dome. So, I'm going to register point 1. I'm moving forward. Point 2. Point 3. And, of course, we can't move through here, but we're simply going over here. And then try to be at a bit the same height. Uh, then we're going to register point 3. And at last point four. So let's do this with a 15 seconds time. So you can see this is basically going to be straight on through the dome. And uh, it's basically 
right now the fact that you can see me moving there is uh, some is a function of the camera that I'm going to explain another time uh, just in a minute but as you can see I have just moved in a straight line but the camera also follows your orientation so I can for example if I clear that again I'm gonna follow the exact same traject other I'm going to start here register point two point one sorry then I'm going to here point two and I'm going over the dome again like that um, point three point four and point five and now we're going to um, do it again so now as you can see it actually turns around this time and then it slowly comes back to its first position and now it will turn to that side wonderful and it will turn back to that side and so this is just a very basic example to show you that the camera indeed follows your orientation and it enables for like this circular move movement around the walk lab so as you can see if I move like this it's kind of shocky um, not really that smooth it also is going actually pretty fast and moving is very very shocky as you can see um, so yeah in fact you can type slash cam um, p or something and then it will automatically register a point but in the options menu you can see that there is a shortcut by simply pressing the p key okay so that is how it basically works now um, as you can see when I register more than two points it will basically come and say auto spline I'm not sure what a spline is um, but I think it's just this um, circular free movement. You can also go for linear and circular, but most people are going to use a spline anyway, so I'm not really going to explain that. Um, disable mouse input is basically that you can't do anything. Uh, you can't break blocks while you are recording. I'm actually going to land down. Um, auto stop video recording, I'm going to talk about that later. Send chat messages, um, normally when, um, that's a pretty weird function in this mod, but when your camera has stopped, it will say traveling ended. So as you can see somewhere in the chat, it says that in green, but if I enable uh, chat messages, it will actually say Zaldek456 traveling ended, and then everybody if you are, for example, on a server, will know, oh, he has just made a video with a camera studio mod. Yeah. Periodic messages, I'm not sure what that means. And this is the time left there is to travel. And then we have the third person. So the third person has everything to do with the fact that you see me walking around um, in a certain position. So, for example, I'm going to register four points here like that uh, simply looking in the UFO five points and I'm going to stand here and then I'm going to type cam start 15 seconds right and now you can actually see me walking I am now controlling myself I'm looking around gonna find gonna try to look at the camera there you are hello so that is pretty cool you can actually see yourself and this allows the option of um, recording yourself going in somewhere and not having the need for um, have for uh, to another person to record you so that's the first thing you can do with that the second thing if you is when you activate players view when you activate players view you actually remain into the player's view itself and you get like m a clone of yourself and this is the cameraman so the cameraman will actually now record your perspective of um, it will record this perspective of the player now um, you need to have the video recorder enabled for that right video recording so you need to have that enabled for the player's view right um, otherwise it won't work 
So that is if you want to. So that option is when you want to have more control over your um, a bit more control over your character. Fixed chunks unloading. Um, rolling. I'm not sure what that does. I think it. You can have it roll a certain position. I'm not sure. So you have to download the video recorder separately. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, actually, it is just a uh, an, a video recorder in this mod. Um, this mod just comes with a video recorder. Now, this could be handy for some of you guys that don't have fraps and stuff or bandicam, but it is not the most high quality video recorder. Um, doesn't really give that m much of a f that that big of a. F um, FPS so I actually if you have another video recorder I don't recommend using this one mm, so um well I think that is actually about it but actually I haven't really told you about the process of making a uh, recording so I'm just going to do cam clear and I'm going to start from the beginning so as I've said before you have to uh, basically set points so for example I'm going to do the same thing again point one mind the orientation point two and point three okay so a basic move around the UFO and then in fact this cam 15 seconds is only meant for testing purposes so for example 15 seconds so this is how to test uh, okay my path is it okay is it um, all right so you can see me again that's because I have third person uh, the option is on so I'm gonna try to head for the door next time so that is basically to check okay um, is my part correct and then if you really want to record you can set the time to for example one minute as I have done with the overview of the walk lab now I'm not sure you can set this into hours um, not really uh, sure why you would ever want to use that you could probably say 60 minutes but um, we're not going to do that so I'm just going to do one minute and as you can see this is gonna go incredibly slow but it does seem to have a little bit more of an FPS when it goes slower. Is it just me? Mm. Anyway, so when the camera gets into position, I'm gonna try uh, to head through the door. If it's going to work, of course, because I'm not sure with that disable mouse input. So as you can see, it is rather difficult to um, get this thing, or to get the, the movement right. So heading for the stairs now. Uh, no, so as you can see, I can't open the door, so you're gonna have to uh, activate mouse input. So as you can see, I can't break blocks, I can't do anything, so you're gonna have to um, activate mouse input, or enable it in this case, for uh, that option to work. Now I'm gonna try to turn myself to the camera, the, the other way, where are you? There you are, hello, hello, I'm watching you, yeah, I'm watching you, see, so, um, that is how that is actually the base the very basics of this mod and the only thing you really need to know when you want to record stuff so if you want to have a more detailed explanation of this mod then do go ahead and go to the mod description and um, yeah so that is basically it for this mod spotlight guys I thank you for watching a like is always appreciated subscribe for some more videos and we'll see you all in the next episode bye bye